Nice. How old do you think she is? You know, the guy who he came in, he's like, well, she, the person that he got her from says she's three months old. She is older than that. Don't look at her teeth and see. That's what I was going to ask. Right, so we want to get to all that physical touch and all that kind of stuff, but not yet. Because it's invasive a little bit, you know? Let me shorten her up. You can just see kind of how she interacts with people. I'm sorry, you know. she'll connect with me because I like how she kind of starts to ramble out to everybody. But then when somebody tries to reach out and engage, she's moving away. And there she didn't come back from where she moved. She hmm. She's yeah. quite she quite indifferent. Yeah. She did. How much she walked up and looked at the water. Uh huh. <clears throat> And I might try it with Dan too, just because we have that option. <coughs> but not quite yet. Okay. Okay. It's empty cup. She's using her nose a lot, though. Yeah. Great. Yep. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah, but she went with the credit card, right? Yeah. I also ignored her the first time, first time she walked up to me. Mm. So, is that connected? A little bit of pressure. I stopped her. It's almost like she knows they're there. They're more interesting than we are. <coughs> Over and, and just call her over to you. Let me just try to pet her under the chin. Just see if she comes over to you because you know you can. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. the way she came in so nice that's why we're going back a little bit you know <laughs> it's the same thing it's like a sideways and then a push off yeah right Liver, sister. <laughs> yeah, she needs to go through heat too. If she gets paid too young, it'll be a problem. <laughs> yep. Oh, look at that shake, little shake. <laughs> looking for more a little more engagement especially with this breed I want that wiggle but oh my god it's a person right well, interest but no yeah. I don't think she needs me <laughs> <laughs> I 
And you she can might. measure her if she comes up to you, but you know. Which is, and this is a little unusual of a test because we have so many people. Like normally we don't have this often, right? No, no, because I'm doing something, <laughs> right? What's the difference between mouthing and biting? Biting is telling you to stop. Mouthing is a puppy pushing the envelope a little bit, and when you go, ah, ah, and they go, yes. I don't pinch the toes. I apply a little pressure when I get a reaction. I got two reactions. I got to pull away and I ah, don't do that. Pinch the toes. I apply a little pressure when I get a reaction. I got two reactions. I got to pull away and I ah, don't do that. She's looking for you. Save me. Right? And she's surfing the room. Pressure point. All right? And she's surfing the room. All right? Pressure point. Disagreement. Uh -huh. Right? Right? And a bigger one. Mm -hmm. And my job is not to make her give up to me. Because that can be a little defensive too, right? <clears throat> hey, Angela, can you grab your dog? Uh -huh. yeah. Actually, I have like two energies with her. So small. Do you want somebody that might be a little, maybe Thor? And um, how's Vinny? Vinny will be indifferent. Yeah, bring Vinny because he's small. Okay. okay. One at a time or both at the same time? One at a time. Okay. Disagree with the leash now. Or uh, Vinny first. Okay. So she's biting the leash, but her ears are pinned back and her tail's at a crook. So if we were to go back to the very first dog I saw, I saw an insecure dog with her hackles up, which is agreeing with everything that's happening. I don't do this with every dog, but I'm going to do it with her. I want those legs to drop and be super loose. Call it wet noodle. <laughs> Those are pretty good. You know, if you pick up a puppy in the back legs, go, mm -hmm. it's not good. Is that interesting? Tension, scared. They don't I don't like, think she's, don't like, like being I think she's a little touched. unsure. I wouldn't call her fearful, you know, because she checked everything out. Better than moving away. So if a dog picks that up and goes and tries to find a hiding spot, I'm already saying it's a resource guard. Doesn't mean that this won't happen, right? But it's better if they just hang out. And then I let them chew it for a while. Because if you go take it right away, it's not as meaningful. And I also want to get this before Angela comes in. And she's comfortable enough to do this too. Right? There it is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Still. Oh, yeah. All right, so it's, it's there. It's a little bit. So a little bit of resource guarding, which means at some point she might. Mm -hmm. Don't take that from me. And it's not, it's not intense either, but it's there. Uh, wait one second. All right, come on in. I'm giving her this much leash and no more. So bring them kind of close and then we got an issue we'll talk. Yeah. And if she starts to come up and you feel like it's too much, you can move away too, right? Mm -hmm. 
She's still looking for the I was going to say, she wants her snack. <laughs> Just walk by. Oh, there it is. Oh, the dog. Hightail. Oh, there it is. Oh, the dog. Hightail. Betty says no. Tackles are coming up. Just the, the base of the tail a little bit. She's at his back end. Not just sniffing, but she tapped him on the outside of his flank. Now she's going for his neck. And he said, no, don't do that. OK? Mm -hmm. So, and it doesn't mean like, ooh, she's going to grab him and get aggressive. But that was like super invasive. And that's where it's going to go later. And Angela's saying that's enough for my dog. So there's some there's gonna be some dog problems there mm -hmm. down the road, which would also match up with Pitbull. Exactly. Right? And not keen interest on humans. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If there's some dog aggression and some issues with dogs, and they're lovely with people, I'd say that's a normal pit bull. Mm -hmm. And just don't have it live with other dogs. It'd be fine. Right? And he, he also agreed with Angela saying, hey, get out of my dog's face. You don't bring Mara, just for kicks. Mara instead yeah. of Thor? Oh, no, bring Thor. Yeah, you're right. Sorry. I had Mara on the brain from earlier. There he goes again. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. And that would have been more intense even though both of them said, don't. No, it's possible. And with my dogs, I'm going to cut them loose and just let it, just let it work itself out. Because I'm going to see how far it's going to go. And they'll stop it. Or I'll stop it if we need to, but I don't do that with other people's dogs. She was also looking at River in the crate here. Oh, I didn't catch that. And her tail puffed up. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, the, the answer is probably I agree with you 100%. Like, poor guy, but not right for your situation because you have dogs coming. Yeah. You know? And she still wants this pig's ears. Mm -hmm. And she was a little possessive of it, too. Uh huh. Right? It's not training, but are you going to back off? Yeah. She's right. right. She's right. So, okay, right. with the right person, like, can she be managed? Managed? Maybe, yeah, but, but these things are there. Mm. And the potential of a bite on a human is there, too, so. You stayed there. And in a young puppy, you'd be surprised how many people go, oh, she's just being a puppy. Right. All, right. All puppies do that. Well, 90%. Yeah. Right. So the dog she's bringing is more more assertive and more energetic yeah. and so i want to see if that spikes up more yeah. behavior or less meaning is he is she going to be respectful of a dog that's going to be a little more assertive over her or is she going to think oh no this is a better fight yeah which would be probably likely go ahead yeah just walk right back just walk right on by and I'm gonna let her come up. We'll stop it if we need to. <laughs> so high. Yeah. Sit Over the top, just a little bit. All his hands are good. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. The hackles on him, this is not typical, Angela's saying. Mm. Right? And he's moving him a little bit. He's moving her. But that that there was still. She was like eyeball there from the corner. Tails yeah. up, she blocked him. No. Oh. Right wow. There you go. So how long did it get a puppy pass that there's no puppy pass? No, there's no puppy. Actually, it should be the opposite. Puppy right away, she went, I'm sorry. I respect that. Yeah, and he's putting out a lot more than he normally does now that Angela's saying that, which means, in essence, it was a form of correcting, right? And this is just escalating. So what I said was, I think this is going to be stronger than the last dog. And I'm right. Because she wants to go now a little bit. Yeah. And Thor's like... Uh -huh. like, no. Save me. Or like, please. Or kind of disengaged and shook off, and she didn't. No, no, she escalated. Yeah. Yep. I know. Yeah. So she backed up a little. I could feel it, you know. And so yeah. All right. This is a perfect example of mostly pit bull 
loves every human he meets. Mm. Every human. Um, so she's right at about 18 weeks. So she just cut the two first incisors. Yeah. So, and 18 weeks is also right when adults start to really crack puppies. So another reason why she doesn't accept that yeah. is stronger. So yeah. And how long did that take us? 30 minutes. Was it? It would have taken 15 if there was some yeah, other the people here. Part right yeah. now. See that same jumping that she was doing with you? She's doing with me now, which is controlling the human space. So, you know, you gave her a little affection, and the next thing she wanted to jump on you and control you, which is a negative, right? And the mouthing was like, hey, you can only touch me where I say you can. Right? But, um, I'm done. But living a separate life. You over there and me over Probably here, it's all the same property. It's still a problem, right? So that would be number one. Sometimes trying to explain in layman's terms about her having issues with people, some people take it okay. Some people just don't understand because they're like, it's puppy. You went to dog trainers, have them fix it. Mm -hmm. right? I told my clients, yeah. it's not in my best interest not to sell you training. That's right. So if I'm telling you how to keep the dog, it's because I care about you, I care about what dog ends up in your house, I care that the dog goes to the right place because if it's detrimental to the dog also, 